Thank you. Okay, so now we hear from Councillor Melanie Coker. <laughs> the um, hearings panel report on the high street uh, improvements. We've got Rebecca and Jacob here, I think. Yes, we have. So um, the, come to the table, please. It'll be interesting. Um, yeah, I'll speak to this first as the chair um, for the hearings panel. Um, the, um, there were two options that were presented. Um, the option one was the one recommended by staff, which was to put um, basically the right um, hand turning arrow from High Street into Sinassive, and option two was not to do that. Interestingly, um, all the businesses supported option one, um, but the majority of submitters supported option Two. So as a panel, um, it's quite clear that the panel was quite happy to um, listen to the businesses in this case and to support um, option one, but we also um, acknowledge that there was basically a big conflict because it creates a conflict between cyclists, pedestrians and cars um, by having that right-hand turning arrow there. Um, so we did look at quite specific um, changes, which you'll see on um, in 2.3 um, and so there's a map that I think is attached into the hub that points out um, points A, B and C that we talked about. There's a lot of things like tactile pavers in response to the submissions that we heard from. So um, that's about it. Okay. So has anyone got any questions of staff? Yanni. Just wondered how confident staff are in the Costings associated with the project. Yeah. Right, I can speak to that. Um, there's 2.5 million budget, and we've had costings through at about 2.25. So there's contingency there if needed. Right. Okay. And um, are we getting any subsidy from NZTA? Yes, we are. And do we know what level? That is, so that being, I mean, it won't be confirmed until we approve no. the hearing no, panel. We'd expect, it to be, we'd expect it to be 51% on eligible items. Um, and then I was just wondering, like, it's sort of come up before, but we don't have financial implications in the report. So I just wondered why we don't have, like, a section that talks through the financial implications. The project, like the cost of the project, who's subsidising it, expected subsidy. No, in the actual report, like I'm just, I don't, like we had this issue with, I think, Antigua Street, um, where it just wasn't clear, but, um, yeah, so. So, so you said, you said, sorry, you said two figures there. What, do they, they add up or... There's two point five million. Sorry, there's two point five million in the annual plan, yep. um, and the costs have come through at about two point two five. That's so. That's based on scheme design. Um, so it's around about what's on budget. I don't know. Yeah, have those so two yeah, ten percent contingency, five. effectively. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. And my, I'll ask a question. Uh, so, in general, and Melanie will probably answer this. All the Adjacent landowners are as happy as they can be. Yeah. The only um, change, well, there was some talk about um, car parks and things and loading zones, so we did make some changes um, to that. And plus, they talked about trees along the street and to make sure they weren't planted so they'd block the heritage fabric of their buildings. And so we, that's one of the recommendations mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, and this, um, I can't make it big enough. That's got the what I call sharrows or something down the middle of the road, is it? With the, is a cycleway down the middle of the road combined with the with the cars. So that's right, I understand. Mark? Oh, so you're just answering that. Right. Andre? Thank you. Is there... I mean, are you able to tell me the reasons why we, we couldn't or shouldn't retain a 30k limit through here? Is 
Um, we're going for a, a, a shared area. It's not a shared zone as such, um, but we're wanting to promote um, safe cycling and safe pedestrian areas, um, and the 10 kilometres does create a safer area for all modes of transport. We're also putting the... The design is such that you've got a... The cyclists join the carriageway to go south, and then there's a contraflow off-road cycleway going the other way. So the 10 kilometres an hour improves the safety for cyclists. And given the length of that block, I mean, the time you'd save by having a 30 kilometre speed limit is pretty minimal. It's also a key connection between the Senesi Street Cycleway, the Imperi Road yep. Cycleway, and the, and the Chum yep. Street one. And sorry, what's the length of it? Pro approximately. Several hundred metres? 100? 200? 100 feet. Yeah, okay. Cool, thank you. I've got another wee question for you. Down, uh, I think it's Worcester Street, that we've got um, a combined cycleway come road. That, that doesn't necessarily mean that all of those roads will start to get pressure on them to be 10 kilometres an hour? No, just this one? Okay. Righto. So, if we, we've got a mover and seconder. Did I do that bit? Melanie's obviously moving it, and... Mark seconding it. And Tyler, oh, the local DJ, far away, Tyler. <laughs> um, <laughs> kia ora. Um, just one question about the trees, Mel. Can you please elaborate a bit more on, on what the um, owners wanted? Did, did they want no trees outside of their building? No, 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 no. They just didn't want one to be planted in front of the building, more like between buildings, so that people would be able to see the heritage nature of their buildings. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's cool. That's the only question I had. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Right, uh, we've got Kelly and then Yanni. Um, thanks. Yeah, just in terms of, um, to be clear, so um, you're expecting cyclists to ride at 10 k's an hour uh, through that area? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's probably quite aspirational. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look, uh, I, I understand uh, drivers are probably a bit more used to slowing down, you know, when they, uh, yeah, because of enforcement. Um, I don't know anyone who's ever been pulled up as a cyclist for going too quick, but uh, I'd love to hear about it if it does happen. Yeah, anyway, thank you. Right, and uh, Yanni, please. I was just, um, just, just trying to get back it around why we're providing two cycleways, like one in the middle of the road and one on the footpath. <laughs> so it's one way so the road is one way so if you're going southbound so from the central city out to the major cycleway you cycle in the road out and the other way is effectively a contraflow right. off-road contraflow going north so you come if you come from the cycleway I get it. from ferry road up to the central city then you're off the road yeah and the reason that you didn't put a two-way cycle path, path? space effectively i think there was there was a proposal for a two-way cycleway from memory um. it, it's a good result for a difficult uh, piece of area I yeah think. i mean you, you you lose road space effectively so you'd lose parking and other things which Aaron? people are keen to keep so if we're going to make it the speed of a car park why don't we just make it a car park and put all perpendicular parking down and then just people would go really slow and would get a lot more cars in I can talk to that. Um, one of the options we looked at was perpendicular parking, yep. and it was seen as a, a safety concern um, with people reversing out into um, the one-way road. But it's 10k, so... Um, it was still more dangerous than this right. proposal. I mean, you always struggle to scratch paint at 10k. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I any debate? Sarah? Thanks. Um, I'd like to thank the panel for their work on this. This has been a long time coming back, um, and it's not an easy section, section of road. I know that there was this was part of a, um, a consultation and stuff, um, gosh, maybe four years ago, um, and we can see how amazing the other section of High Street now looks, um, and I think that the businesses down here will um, benefit from having a, a better-looking street. I know that the, the street's really rough at the moment, um, however, 
I'm not able to vote in favour of this today. Um, and that's because while the panel have made every effort to make that additional right hand turn as safe as it could be, the original report was very clear that it is less safe for those involved, for pedestrians and cyclists, than the current status quo. And I think that as a council in a climate emergency, putting in an extra piece of roading um, and making it less safe for pedestrians and cyclists is a backward step. And um, majority of submitters agreed. Thanks. Okay. Mark. Thank you. Um, in response to um, Sarah's concerns, as a panel, we worked really, really hard with this. Um, we listened to the local businesses who also reside on that street day in, day out in trade. And we put a lot of effort into mitigating any risk of that right turn. Um, we put in a number of measures. There's a step up curb onto that. So doing 10 kilometres an hour, going up over a step up curb, uh, you couldn't make a much safer environment. Um, and for, to the um, talk about the 10 kilometre speed limit for everyone, uh, we've even gone as far as re recommending to put 10 kilometre speed limit signs in for the cyclists to remind them that this is a 10 kilometre area so that uh, should we need to enforce it, Kelly, um, at least we give the local constabulary every opportunity to do so. So um, I, it was a, an interesting panel to be on. And it was, a, a, I think we did fairly well in getting all our recommendations to try and mitigate the safety for everybody. And I'd like to recommend this to the council to hopefully pass this today. Andre. Am I able to move an amendment? Um, that depends can, on we that, yes. yeah. <laughs> can we Can we hear it? Yeah, an amendment for a limit of 20 k's. Oh, up it from 10 to 20? Yeah, uh, 10 to 20, and yeah, I've got a second. I'll second that. Righto. Can we just take some input? <coughs> we'll need to take some time to respond to that. Okay, shall we have a break for a couple of seats? Should we take five? Yeah, okay. take five minutes and just get our head around it. Thank Sorry, you. just because just we weren't aware of it. When it comes back, can we just get some advice on 20, 30, and 10? Well, no, I... I So, so that's why we need to take some advice as advice. to okay. what the steps are. Thank you. Can I 